Hello everyone, this is Eris Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Dynasty Warrior 8 Extreme Legend with the Wu Story Mode here at the Battle of Wu Xukou. So this is a battle that's following up the Battle of Hefei. This is Cao Cao's turn to attack us, even though I think the game has it portrayed a little bit differently. And this is where Gan Ning will make his name, so we'll be playing as him. So let's jump in here and see how the game presents this battle. Wu we'll takes the bitter defeat at Hefei. We kind of saw this at the end of the last episode, but it's fine. So the Yang Tiger immediately rose and set out again. Sun Quan quickly assembled his men and formed an army to vindicate their honor. Uh, well, let's talk historically for a moment. So this is where Cao Cao has finished his Han Zhong campaign uh, in defeat and turned his attention back east because Hefei just got attacked about two years prior. He, you know, mustering, moving men, marching from the west to the east take a long time. And now the Wei army is ready to attack at Wu Xukou, which is kind of incorrectly placed on the map by a little bit because it's giving you the appearance that it's south of the Yangtze River, but it's actually north. It's the Wu Fortress uh, opposite of Hefei. Uh, the Wu faction will hold this place multiple times. There is a big uh, harbor built here by the Wu forces for their navy. Uh, it's using a couple of natural barriers. Uh, on the western side is a mountain. On the eastern side, they have a gate pass, a historical gate pass called the Dongguan or the Eastern Path. And at this conjunction, there's this river, and where the river meet is called Wu Xukou. And this is a pretty key location for the Kingdom of Wu. And at news of Cao Cao's first arrival, Wu sent out five ships uh, full with men, led by Dong Xi. Uh, who we met before. I don't think he's playable, but he's a pretty key general that joined Sun Ce when he went to Kuaiji. Uh, and when he arrived at Kuaiji, Dong Xi was a local youth uh, known for being really tall. I think he was well over six feet, very tall at the time, especially in the south. And he joined Sun Ce's forces, worked his way to become a general, and he was in charge of this five ship fleet uh, to reinforce Ru Xukou and also to use the ship as the naval force. Unfortunately, when they arrived, uh, there was a huge storm that was happening at the, the time, and the ship were in danger of being sunk by the storm. But Dong Xi uh, basically pulled his men together and said, no one's abandoning ship, he's staying with the ship till the bitter end. It helped morale, but in the end, the storm was too big, and the ship in fact did sink, and Dong Xi actually went down with the ship and died here. Uh, so a rather tragic death for a rather stubborn man, I guess. But uh, I guess the captain goes down with the ship. Uh, aside from that, the land battle resumed and the forces of Wu was able to utilize a pretty surprise morning charge by Gan Ning's cavalry to basically shock the Wei forces uh, for a period of time. But the ultimate result of this battle is Sun Quan's going to negotiate a sort of surrender, not of the location, but rather politically. Sun Quan is going to become quote unquote vassal of Cao Cao uh, until the backstabbing of Guan Yu, essentially. So, uh, this does not end well for the, the, the Wu faction side, but I doubt that's how this battle is going to be portrayed in the game as, you know, we're the heroes here. So, let's jump in here with Gan Ning and see how things go. We have not used him, and I don't think we have any weapons. Oh, he uses a flail. Okay, that's different. I mean, I say it's different because he does not use a flail in uh, the older versions of the game that I played. He usually uses a big blade. Um, but I guess that weapon has gone to Sun, uh, Sun Quan for some reason, and now we are using a flail. Sure, we have terrible weapons here, and hopefully we can buy some better ones if there is a camp. If not, we'll just tough it out. Uh, it is normal difficulty after all, so it shouldn't be too hard. Let's go. Been itching for a good fight. Hey, hey, listen. Are you a complete idiot? What? Shut up. You're the one making the noise. Those bells! This is a surprise attack. In case you've forgotten, it's every little thing with you, isn't it? And you don't worry about anything! Why am I stuck with you? <gasps> ah, good enough! Both of you! 
This is our chance for revenge for Hufei. It's no time to be bickering like children. Calm down. I'm not the one who needs to calm down here. Uh, actually, your voice is a little loud. Yes, yes. Attack! Enemy attack! Uh, here you go. <laughs> We've been spotted. <sighs> All right. We're close enough now. Come on, both of you. Oh, yeah! Fight time! Here we go again, every time. Our objective is to reach the well, drawbridge in the middle of the Ling Tong end. is ready dead at this point. It will create and a path only Gunning is leading this attack. First, we must break through the garrison that lies in front of us. I kill the gate cap. Open up. Ling Tong, let's go. Xu Hua, oh dear. Sure thing, old man. It's about time I joined this fight. Okay, there's a grapple move well, as well. I can't really sit out a battle that's already been started. I suppose I'll join you. Oh, it's a sneak attack. No matter. I shall defend this garrison at all costs. Yeah, they're casting this battle. You know, we're the defending side technically. Oh, we don't want to be moosed by him. But we don't mind mooseling him back. Ah, that's one that's really hard to control once. <gasps> 10 seconds of free Musu. What? Oh, just the full bar. No, no, my kill, my kill. Good. Okay, now we must hurry to the drop. An excellent display of skill. We shall fight again. All right, Jung Hu, you die first. You've got no chance against me. What? The enemy is attacking at this time of night. Ooh, Zhang ba. I mean, Zhang ba would be in northern Xu, so it's not too far You're off. Actually, trying today, aren't you? You'll soon regret coming out here alone. Although I think Zhang ba eventually Come on, becomes the prefix of the Yu province. Prepare yourself. <laughs> Zhang Liao, wasn't it? Nice to see you again. You, God dang. What are you doing? I can handle him alone. You reckon? It's not in my nature to leave a friend in trouble, though. A friend? Yeah, friend. Everyone who fights on the same side should be friends. Everything's so simple to me. I kind of like that. I am pretty sure. Ooh, he has we have come quite the buff. I'm pretty sure, you know, Gunning is much older than uh, Lu Meng. And Lu Meng's cast is like the father figure here. <laughs> it's on Bass also here. It's about time I repaid that debt. Do a jump, Musu. Ah, uh, it doesn't. I mean, I guess if we catch him in the jump, oh, we're out of Musu bars. This is could get tricky. And the camera angle here, it's messy. Let me get out of this. Leave the main camp to us. You can focus on attacking the enemy position. Excellent, God me. Don't stand a chance against such fighting spirit. We must fall back for the time being. Or Samba. That obstacle has been removed from our path. Now is our chance to lower the drawbridge. And then Zhang Hu and a bunch of gatekeepers. Okay. Oh, this is cool too. We will continue on and crush the enemy camp. You've got no chance against me. It looks like Lu Meng was successful. All units, prepare to advance. Annihilate the enemy. This is a good way to clear the room, actually. 
lot of good AOE finishers on his combos. Wait, did the drop? No okay, me. Oh, we got it. Same general as his last battle. The enemy alone. Let's get it I love this. Let's get it started. How could my tactics fail like that? You've got no chance against me. Tolgen? See if I can combo him with this. No, it didn't work. Should probably lift him up. Maybe he had the guard up. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, Sa so Hoshan got killed. There's a lot of people on the on the south side that we're not that we're missing out on. Walking so much. Okay, all right, he dies. Sure know how to fight. You've got no chance against Where's the me? gatekeeper. There we go. Even the unit captain's defending like crazy. Right, who's in here? So you oh, it's Horin. The then I shall serve as the shield that What are you doing here instead of guarding uh, Nanjun over oh, got guts. Xiang Yang. Did he just Musu? I get Musu too. Tarn's a little tough. This is gonna so you can fun. whip him up. Uh, that's pretty much the full combo from the this is gonna be fun. jump Musu. This cannot have happened. Yeah. Not to me. You've got no chance Still against got him. me. This unit commander survived a long time. The enemy Messenger appears, appears in the east. Requested reinforcements from the Shanyue tribesmen. And by who? Their messenger should still be close by. Who's, who's long dead? Ah, uh, unit commander's not worth our time. Let's find the other guys. Oh, home. Okay. Then we're What's gonna go matter? down south. You lost, you poor little thing. That whole dude got defeated. No. Let's get it started. I love this. I'm sick of waiting around. I'll let you go for now. Don't think you've won. You've got no chance against me. All right, we'll kill the unit commander. I think he has a drop as well. I think he drops weapons. You let the messenger escape your grasp. We need to finish this battle before the Shan Yue can arrive. I want to fight them. I want to see who they have leading the Shan Yue at this point. Yang Ji again, huh? All paired with a unit commander. I'm sick of waiting around. Oh, he's blocking it. How about from behind?
Okay. The old who? Now, my brave warriors, go forth and slay Sun Quan. Alright, let's go down there and help them out, I guess. Think of your family, your country, and fight until the bitter end. What? How did the wolf horses end up here? The enemy is in a state of confusion. This is our chance to take sneak attack. Players. They're actually confused. They're actually stunned on the field. Okay. Open up the gate. Where is the gate, Captain? He bounced over here. Wrong? Things don't look too good. I'm here. Let's just open up. Who's here? Oh, you it. Counter? Face you nonetheless. You're the one that really stood out in our previous encounter. Okay, I'll be happy to give you a fight. You performed great as always. Wait, where is Yuezi? There was no need for my strategy. It's as bad as you see. We got him. Please lend me a hand. I must return while I am still able. All right, we clean this up. Let's go. Let's go. Open up. Open up all the doors. There we go. There's a group in the south going after Sun Quan. We should clean them up first. That is not going to happen. Ah, confused by the route. I'm going to have your head. You came for me? That sure was kind of you. Come on, what are you waiting this for? This is the Shanghai group. Yo Tu is leading it. All units. I want Sun Quan's head delivered to me personally. I am here to join the fray. I know. I will take down the enemy main camp and bring an end to this battle. That was a most exciting display of bravery. I am impressed. I'm sick of waiting around. Think of your family, your country, and fight until the bitter end. All right, we got the kill. Let's go back. Where did I go wrong? Things don't look too good. Many troops. Where did I go wrong? Things don't look too good. Oh, now we always save this for you. What is it, God, man? Have you come for a lab? Anyway, think you could lend a hand here? Perfect timing. I was looking for an opportunity to test my new tactics. Excellent, God, me. Hey. You are actually trying today. Aren't we actually got him in one full blow. You performed great as always. There was no need for my strategy. Yo Jin. No chance against me. All the officers are dead, just troops. I hope I hope our forces can take care of that. We're going north. We killed a bunch of people here earlier. So 
LP. Okay, so father and son back over here. The weak are forced to rely on We have to kill Tulpy first to get item strategy. from him. Although I can at least applaud their effort. You have been able to run rampant through my forces. However, that nonsense uh. ends now. Ah! The enemy commander! I'm interested to see just how good a fighter you really are. Blocked it. Oh, most of it. Hmm, tilt halt. A double attack would help. This is gonna be fun. I'm sick of waiting around. <laughs> this is only a minor setback. You've got no chance against me. Gonna move to him twice, and then I think our bar for the ultimate should be back up. Yep. And we'll end him with this. No, don't go into the. Yeah, there we go. to put them on the defensive for a while. We have avenged our loss at Hufei and lived up to our part of the Alliance. It's all going pretty well, I'd say. Yes. You fought very well. <laughs> that wasn't half enough for me. <laughs> Come on. Let's go attack Hufei again, right now. Really? Do you ever just stop and listen to yourself? What? What I'm saying is we've done enough for now. Besides, what's the point in victory if you don't take time to celebrate? Huh. Well... You make a good point. Okay. Then I'll ask our lord for some of the best wine we have. Of course. You were planning on including me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then let's head back. All right. I mean, historically, they lost the battle to uh, Rushuko, but um, it's clearly being placed as a bonding mission for Ling Tong and uh, Gan Ning. And even though Ling Tong's already dead at this point, it, it's fine. Uh, they had their bonding moment a little bit earlier. And now, let's see. I think that ends kind of the hypothetical and historical split or shared portion. And now we're going to go down one path. And in this instant, we're obviously going down the historical path because we didn't do any of the hypothetical requirements. Um, in the future, after we finish this historical path, we'll go right back to the earlier missions and do all the hypothetical conditions to change history so we don't lose so many men. And then we'll have this hypothetical path where we will, you know, eventually win the whole thing, I'm assuming. Guan Yu is attacking. So this is our moment of backstabbing, I guess. Sends a message to Sun Quan. Right, dissolves alliance, more like just straight up forget about the alliance. And the funny thing is, after they killed Guan Yu, Sun Quan thought this is their moment to also betray, you know, 
Teltalt right after and then launched an the attack against well oh, actually he didn't launch an attack the way Wei didn't believe in this, you know, supposed alliance, and Wei just attacked them, and Sun Quan actually lost, you know, a lot of ground right after this, after helping out Wei. Uh, Wu, Wu lost the ground, so basically they got attacked across the borders right after killing Guan Yu. Um, so for this battle, uh, we're not going to play as Lan Shi or uh, Lu Xun just yet. Lu Xun, we're just going to be playing as Lu Meng, since he is credited with killing Guan Yu, and he dies soon after. So, yes, it's another one of those battles where we will lose a general soon after, but... Um, It'll be interesting to see how they portray the capture of Guan Yu here. So until then, bye!